Jeremiah has completed his gruelling journey. He prepares the darting equipment. Worryingly, it's a big bull in a lot of pain, and he's moved into thick bush. This is dangerous, and Jeremiah and the team will have to make split-second decisions. If I have to suddenly go, you guys hang on. <laughs> He has only got one chance. The elephant has gone deeper into cover and must now be followed, but this dangerous task can only be undertaken on foot. This is bad. The bull has fallen on his chest. He must be turned on his side in the next few minutes or he will suffocate. They must stop. The elephant's leg is bent the wrong way. It's down to manpower alone. We need to keep the, the airway open. Jeremiah can get to work. I can see a deep uh, penetrating wound near the digits of the right forelimb, uh, which I'm suspecting probably was caused by uh, an arrow wound. So what we're going to do is just to clean it and uh, let it heal secondarily. Yeah. We're not going to close the, the wound, no. It's already infected, there's a lot of bacteria. What we're going to do is just to clean the wound, put a lot of injectable antibiotics here. And then uh, we'll for the best. The Trust's veterinary units work around the clock and will help any wild animal in distress. To date, they have treated over 300 elephants and countless other animals. Almost all cases treated are human-related. Prognosis uh, looks good. The animal is now coming up. You can see the ear flapping. Because of the trust intervention here, this elephant has a really good chance of survival. <laughs> 